Yoga is a science of holistic living that helps us to raise from our normal, instinctive, animalistic nature to become normal, great human beings, super divine human beings and reach that perfection itself. Yujyate anena iti yoga as it said. So, what we have to do to deal with these modern challenges is that we have to deal with human system in its totality, not merely at the physical level. Most of the presentation that we are doing and most of the research that is going on essentially at the body level. You know? And we are going deeper and deeper into that, the food aspect, the nutritional aspect and several other things. But when the root cause is much, much deeper and subtler, we have to address that. And therefore we started using integrated approach of yoga therapy to deal with all these different layers of human existence. You know? So over the 35 years of yoga therapy research, we have published large number of papers and 450 research papers and peer-reviewed index journals and many MSc dissertations and doctoral programs and dissertations in our university and books of yoga are this thing. So then, as I was mentioning, it was in late 70s that we started dealing with hypertension. How can we mitigate these things? How can we address this big challenge showing up as hypertension? So then we unraveled the secret from Upanishad we developed in 1982 based on this total knowledge base to deal with stress and hypertension in particular and NCDs in general. You know. So this is what we call as the SMET, self-management of excessive tension. It is not only to gain mastery over the stress, to have a stress-free maturity, but also for developing our brilliance, excellence and health. You know. Then we started doing research on that. But the sweat can give very deep relaxation so that the hypertension can be mitigated, can hypertensives can come down, they bring, and we started measuring how much of rest we get when we do this sweat program. A simple combination of simple asanas, the pranayam, the meditation, everything in sweat shows that if you sleep for six hours, there is a 9% reduction in the metabolic rate, while the sweat within 35 minutes can bring down the metabolic rate by about 32 percent. The deep rest that is given, you know, will completely transform us and bring about the necessary changes that are needed in hypertension. Even some of the techniques like TM, Transcendental Meditation with Maharishi Maharishi Yogi developed, has been able to show that it can bring about 13 to 15 percent reduction. But SMET, based on the Upanishadic teaching of Panduk Karika, says that it can give you very deep rest, you know. What we want is half an hour of practice. You know. I remember that when the hypertension was tackled, Dr. Date from Bombay, the great cardiologist, he started giving shavasanas to all his hypertension patients. You have to do shavasana two to three times every day. And thousands of data he accumulated and showed that it is very, very useful. And when he tied up with Dr. Chandra Patel in Royal Free Hospital in London, they published their paper in Lancet in which they showed that the lifestyle change can bring about the things. So when we were working with Royal Free Hospital during the diabetes control, then we started this thing and people started coming to us and we started using this relaxation technique. Shavasana is part of the entire SPET program and SPET program comes to much deeper relaxation than Shavasana. Therefore, within half an hour, as I said, 32% reduction. Therefore, we started seeing but within just two to four weeks, the diastolic blood pressure has come down by almost 20 percent and systolic has reduced by 11 percent and the medication started coming down. And when they continued the practice, they were able to almost get free from medication and having complete normalization. This was a study that we did for several years over about 2,000 mild and moderate hypertensives. You know. And what is the basic principle? Essentially, yoga gives very deep rest to the body-mind complex. So we developed three types of shavasana for relaxation. Instant relaxation technique. Takes only one minute to relax. Quick relaxation technique, three minutes. Deep relaxation technique, five minutes. And the entire cyclic meditation or the practice of smet takes about half an hour. So a large number of people who had hypertension and cardiac problems, you know, they have taken to this SMET program, half an hour they do that every evening when they come home after their work and before taking dinner. Whatever time you take dinner, doesn't matter. 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Before that, half an hour you do that practice and 
it works wonders and they have been able to be free from the complications of hypertension and then aggravation of the dimension and they get control over the food we all know how food has a very important factor in hypertension as beautifully presented by many of you but why we have not been able to stuck to the food things that are good and healthy food why are we lured for all unhealthy food it is because the will power is weak when you see an object of our enjoyment when you see very attractive food then you just succumb to that you become a slave to the sense it's here that yoga comes into picture and develops the will power similarly many of the hypertensive have not been able to have medication compl compliance so by doing yoga their compliance for the medication also improves all these things we have seen therefore this program thousands and thousands of people large number of ceos nearly 150000 ceos over the last 30 years have learned this and have been practicing it very effectively and not only gives you very deep rest and promotes health and others we have also found it improves the brain functioning abilities in our studies in our lab we studied on evoked potential p300 and the sleep structure polysomnographic thing that we have in our campus in which we have shown that we have been able to go into the third and the fourth phase in rem sleep by practicing of the cyclic meditation smart and therefore the sleep requirement comes down if you are sleeping 8 hours by practicing half an hour you will be able to reduce to 6 hours if you are only sleeping 7 hours half an hour of this practice can bring down to 5 hours therefore large number of executives who always race against time they all say how i wish i had 30 hours in a day for such people it has become a big investment in time and they have been practicing it effectively you know and therefore the thing is that executive effectiveness improves and we have been able to find that even the hdl the good cholesterol also is going to increase by this relaxation technique in our recent studies in diabetes and not only ldl and vldl all are going to come down is going to come up so that is the dimension and we have published nearly 30 to 40 papers on cyclic meditation it helps in prevention in rehabilitation and to promote positive health and that is the dimension that we use that and we found that by this process even the anxiety one of the factors of stress as a risk factor also reduces and we have done lot of research in various other ailments modern theories like diabetes hypertension ophthalmic disorders obesity and others and the risk factors can be done so vyasa has been recognized as an icmr center of excellence in yoga and neurophysiology we have one of the best labs that we have and our first paper that were published in british medical journal on bronchial asthma and that opened our things to the whole thing another risk factor is obesity and yoga can bring about control over the food and also bring about control over the obesity very effectively and in a simple study we have been able to show that the bmi reduces then the fat percentage the cholesterol the the triglyceride ldl vldl and hdl hdl increases that is the wonderful thing that happens in yoga we have been able to show in this study and the bronchial asthma the drug score has been able to reduce and diabetes has been our main focus and we started our work in royal free hospital in 1986 and with dr dandona and we published that british journal of complementary medicine in which we have shown that not only fps ppbs and other thing reduce but even glycated hemoglobin can come down effectively as we have been able to show in this controlled trial that we did that thing so essentially we have shown that the stress reduction restores immune system normalcy the autoimmunity reduces in the whole counter therefore this total approach of yoga holds great promise for dealing with this modern ailments in general and hypertension in particular therefore we have spread our wings to large number of countries here 26 countries we have collaboration with the university of california san francisco in which we did the diabetes and hiv studies ucla and usc and university of houston md anderson cancer center we have a big study on cancer and yoga we have a three arm trial and 600 patients of the breast cancer which is now coming to an end over the five year study and the nih provided them nearly 5 million dollars the biggest grant by nih for the study and the mayo clinic we did and university in australia swinburne university rmit also we have been working with that in collaboration using this set of findings 
we have taken up a nationwide project called Stop Diabetes Movement, and now we have renamed as Diabetes Control Program, DMCOP. You know? The whole objective is to prevent India become the diabetic capital of the world. So our Joint Secretary and the Secretary of Ayush, they were telling, we have to convert India from diabetic capital of the world to diabetic controlled capital of the world, they were mentioning. And our Prime Minister in the recent uh, thing on International Day of Yoga in Chandigarh, he gave a call that all of us focus on one thing for this one year to control diabetes. And he called all the yoga institutions and the national committee has been formed and all the experts have come forward and they have been made the chair for this and see that we work on that. We have a very extensive program to take this thing to all over the country. And on October 2nd, the launch was made by our Prime Minister and on that day, throughout the country, 3,000 aware, 3,500 awareness camps were done throughout the country, five camps in every district and in all the major cities, 50 camps. And minimum, they should have 100 people that was given to different yoga institutions and all the data is being collected by the Central Council of Research in Yoga Naturopathy. And we are taking up randomized controlled trials and match control trials on the regional thing in all the six regions of the country and the pre-post trials and large number of people. So this is going to be a big breakthrough research project that we are doing through our university known as Swami Vivekananda Yoga Sandan Samstan. And in our university we have five divisions. Division of Yoga Spirituality, Life Sciences, Physical Sciences, Management Studies and Humanities. And we have nearly 150 people doing their doctorate and MSc 500 and others, totally about 1,500 people, including distance education. And using this manpower, we want to spread all over the country. And you can join your courses and also join hands. Your expertise is very much needed. Hypertensives, endocrinologists, and obesity experts all should join hands in this big movement our Prime Minister has called for. And by that, we'll be able to see that the hypertension is mitigated and the diabetes is brought down in our country. The growing curve of diabetes has to be brought down. Now at present China is here. We are here. We are racing against China to overcome China. And that has to be prevented. That can happen by the primary prevention, by preventing pre-diabetics to become diabetics, first level. And mild can be brought down. And the severe diabetics with all the complications, can we reduce the complications? And this is our goal. And we have a very good team of the experts the experts from European Diabetic Association, Dr. Bolton and Dr. Mohan from here and our Prabhakaran and others, all people have joined and we want more and more doctors and other people who have retired but not tired. They are most welcome to join us in this big movement that we have taken and we can give a little bit of training for them and utilize there for this DM COP that we are doing and to spread throughout the country. And we have got the 35 one too. Those who want to contribute in terms of the funds for this big thing, we are going to have the measurements, pre-post studies, and all the standard things that are needed to show by evidence that these things are possible in a scaled-up model. We have published nearly four or five papers in which we have been able to show 30-30 randomized controlled trial, then 200-200 diabetic patients, and we have been able to show a lot of significant improvements in the statistics. Now we want to do that in a very big thing. Last year, we had 1,520 camps throughout the country. 56,000 pre-diabetics and diabetics came to our camp and within one week their FPS has come down by 20 units. And they are continuing this practice and we have to have the follow-up this year and more and more these things. And this is the work that we have taken up and I'm very, very happy that our Venkatram came here, asked me to come here and to share with you some of the dimension that we are doing. And once again, I congratulate the wonderful team who has set up this uh, beautiful conference, hypertension, bringing all the top experts of the world and sharing what is happening. You know, updating is very, very necessary. And as rightly mentioned by someone, it is time that this knowledge base has to be percolated to general public at large. It should go down to even the villages. And even the villages, things have started increasing. In Dr. Mohan's study, about 10 years back, the village percentage of diabetics in Chennai area used to be about 4 to 5 percent and in urban China it used to be 12 percent. But in the recent study he has shown that village also has come up fast 12 percent diabetic and China is 14 percent. 
So he said, now we have a greater responsibility to deal with even in the villages. So we have to take up that. So we want to have this done throughout the country and down to the village level and the district level and the thaluk level and see that it goes. This can happen when all of you can join hands in this big national movement that our Prime Minister has called for. And once again, I thank you all for giving me this opportunity and thank you very much for your patient hearing. Thank you. Thank you.